Hi there and welcome. In this scenario we're going to look at how you can bake applications into custom images using Azure VM Image Builder and Azure DevOps Pipeline. Why would you want to do this? As a developer this allows you to keep your application code in a repo but also the image configuration as code. You then have the ownership of creating the app, configuring the image and distributing the image globally so then you can test on the latest Azure Marketplace images or the custom golden corporate images that you may already have. The steps we're going to take, we're going to create an Azure VSTS DevOps uh, project. We're going to create a repo with some application code and some image configuration code. We're going to set up a release pipeline. Then we're going to import the Azure VM Image Builder task, which is specifically set up for Azure VM Image Builder. We're then going to configure that and create uh, the pipeline to configure the image and distribute it globally. So we've got some prerequisites we need to work through. First of all, you need to make sure that your subscription is registered for the Azure VM Image Builder service. You'll also need to install the Azure VM Image Builder Visual Studio extension. You'll need to create a resource group, a shared image gallery and image definition, and a storage account. Naturally, I've got this all ready for you in some code you just need to run through, so let's get started with that. And all code samples are available at aka.ms AZ Vim Image Builder DevOps. So let's go to that link and go to the end to end example. So now go to the first prerequisite and register for the Azure VM Image Builder service by running this code. Now install the Azure VM Image Builder DevOps extension task. Go to the Azure Visual Studio Marketplace DevOps tab and then search for Image Builder. For steps four to six, this is all coded for you, so you can literally just copy and paste it and run it straight through. You'll do this using the Azure Cloud Shell. So let's get started. Let's set the variables that define our resource group name and our location. Then let's set up our subscription ID. Let's set up the shared image gallery name and the uh, shared image gallery definition. Now let's create the resource group and the shared image gallery. Let's create the shared image gallery definition and give the image builder SPN rights to that resource group where the shared image gallery resides. Now let's create a staging storage account. This is going to be used by the DevOps task to upload and download the files in your repository into the image. Now let's go to the Azure VSTS DevOps page and create a new project. Let's create a repository and initialize it. Create a new folder, call it web app, name a new file default.htm. You will need content for the default.htm. Go to the quick starts repo link and go to web app and click on default.htm and click on raw format. Copy the raw format, paste it in, and commit it. Now create another file and call it webconfig.ps1. Then go back to the repo and copy the webconfig.ps1 and put the contents into the file that you just created in the repo. This will configure a Windows iOS web server. It's going to copy the files that get dropped into the image in the build artifacts directory and move them into the web server application directory. Next we need to create a release pipeline. So go to pipelines, releases, new pipeline, select empty job and name the stage image build. Now add an artifact to the release pipeline, select Azure repository, select the current project apps and image builder, select the source repo as apps and image builder, the default branch to master, and default version to latest and save that. Linking the repository to the image build stage will allow the repo files to be baked into the image for you to use. Edit the image build stage, click on the agent job, click plus to add a task and search for image builder and add the task in. Now you'll see the properties of the image builder task. Click on the subscription that is to be used, then click on the drop down list next to authorize. Here you're going to select the resource group that you wish to use that you created at the beginning of the tutorial and authorize the pipeline to use that resource group. 
Now select the same resource group. This is the resource group that Image Build is going to use during the Image Build for storing the uh, image template artifact and select the location. Now select the source image type. You can select existing custom images such as shared image gallery or managed images but in this case we're going to take marketplace images and we're going to use a Windows 2019 server image. For the next step we need to configure the task settings. These are all in the documentation. Set the provisioner to PowerShell. Because you linked the repository with the image build stage earlier you can now click on the build path and select the repository and you will see the web app directory with the files you added earlier and the web app directory will be baked into the image for you. And go back to the docs and copy the inline customization command then paste it into the inline customization script. Now select the storage account that you're going to be using that we created earlier. This will be one prefix with AIB stage store. When the task runs, the files from the repo will be uploaded to the staging storage accounts, then downloaded into the image. You can then run the inline customization commands against those files. You can run multiple customization commands, these just need to be on separate lines. Now you need to set up the distribute. You need to distribute to the shared image gallery, and for this you're going to need the resource ID of the shared image gallery definition. So copy the command in the documentation, paste it into the command shell and this will give you the resource ID then put that into the task. For the last part you can select the regions you want the image to be distributed to. For this we're going to just select West US 2. Now you're ready to run so you can save and then create the release. The release will be queued. You can see the release status by clicking on release and then when the build actually starts running you can click on the logs. Here you will see the different stages of the task being executed. So initializing the job, downloading the artifacts, and then it will start the actual image builder task itself. A short time later, you'll see that the image build has finished. So now you need to get the resource ID of the image version that was created. You can use this command and paste it into the cloud shell. This will then get you the resource ID. Alternatively, you can get this from the Azure portal go into the DevOps resource group and get the image version from there. Now you need to create the VM, so copy this command here. This is going to create a VM using that image resource ID and it's also going to create a network security group and open up port 8080. You can see this here. Now get the IP address of the VM, this is the public IP address. Copy and paste that into your favourite browser, colon 8080. And now this takes you through to the web app that was baked into the image. Okay, to summarize, what have we just done? We've taken your application code, your operating system configuration code. We've put it into a repo, configuration as code. We've then created an Azure DevOps release pipeline. We've added in the Azure Image Builder VSTS DevOps task. And then we've started the build. This invokes Image Builder. Image Builder customizes your image with your application baked in, configures the operating system, and then distributes that image globally. We then created a VM from that image, and you could see immediately that we could access the application through the browser. This basic example showed how you can use Azure VM Image Builder and Azure DevOps to build a release pipeline for creating your custom images and replicating them globally. But the possibilities are endless. The source could have been Linux, it could have even been an existing gold image. So enjoy image building with Azure Image Builder. Thank you.